Does the world need yet another 3D printer filament spool holder? In this case, I'll say yes. In this video, I'll be presenting a novel new design that's low friction, uses no bearings, makes your filament roll self-centering, and adds a couple of more improvements as well. Don't adjust your internet feed. Printable Science presents a 3D printed low friction bearingless self-leveling filament spool holder. This video has been made possible by the generosity of our patrons and viewers like you. You know, I don't usually give much thought to spool holders. They've all worked well enough for my requirements. That is, until I took delivery in of uh, MMU2 for the Prusa. The spool holders for that product are almost comically bad. They're a vacuum formed plastic tub with uh, steel rods and plastic plugs and use four bearings and yet even with all that they don't work very well at all as they introduce far too much friction into the filament path and provide another example to support the suspicion that the Prusa MMU2 is a product that was released in beta if not alpha form. For the most part, unless you're dragging your spool up a sharp incline or you wrap sandpaper around the axle, you're going to find that the default holder supplied with your printer or any one of the numerous straightforward designs that are available are good enough. But when friction becomes a major issue, as it does with filament holders for products like the MMU2, we see a whole bunch of different attempts at coming up with a better solution. And our filament holder is an example of and our attempt at innovation in that vein. Now, like many stands, the printable science mount consists of two basic parts, the stand itself and an axle. Now, the stand has a couple of interesting features I'll bring to your attention later, but for the most part, it serves the same function as all stands, lifts the filament roll up so it isn't dragging on the surface and provides a mount for the axle to rest on. So let's just uh, set that aside for a moment and take a look at the axle, because that's where it gets interesting. The secret is the use of PTFE as the rolling surface. PTFE is slippery stuff, literally. It's the stuff Bowden tubes are made of, because the low friction profile of its composition allows a filament to glide smoothly along the inside. But rather than use the PTFE tube as a low friction filament pathway, we take advantage of the tube's exterior wall, which is just as slippery as the interior. In an earlier design, our axle was, was just a straight cylinder with a couple of grooves inlaid into the axle. But uh, when you inserted the tube, it uh, sits uh, proud of the axle so that the interior, uh, the interior cylinder of the filament roll rides on the PTFE tube exterior rather than on the hard printed plastic axle. Now that in and of itself allows the roll to rotate freely on the axle with very little friction. But to make things even better, we take it one step further and fashion the channel for the PTFE tubing so that it's curved. And that yields two very desirable results. The first advantage of this approach is that when a roll is placed on the axle, it becomes self-centering as gravity is always pulling the roll into the middle of the axle. Secondly, but more importantly, the curvature reduces the area of contact between the axle and the filament roll interior to a minimum. And when you're dealing with reducing friction, the less amount of surface contact, the better. Oh, and there's one more benefit as well. The axle doesn't fall out quite as easily. With most holders of this basic design, the axle has an annoying fondness for falling out of the spool when you lift it off the stand and typically falling on the floor or on your print bed. However, this axle has fatter ends and while they don't eliminate the axle falling out of the spool hole, with just a little bit of care, you'll find it won't fall out of the center hole as easily as it has in the past. I mentioned there are a couple of features of the stand. So the first is the filament loop. Many printer owners like to channel their filament along a specific path and use a hole in the printed stand that always has the filament leaving the holder in a specific place. The difficulty is that it's often hard to thread a piece of filament into a hole and other times it's just straight impossible. But not with the filament loop provided. 
Sure, you can insert the filament from one end if you want to, but you can also insert and remove the filament in the guide anywhere along the filament length. Just a twist of the filament and it falls in the slot between the two loops, twist it back and the filament is safely loaded in your guide. The stand also comes with some leveling legs because if your stand is on an angle, then you might have limited success with the self-leveling feature of the filament roll. No problem. You just pop the feet onto the leg, thread the leg into the hole, and then adjust the height of the legs until your holder sits level on the board or table that it sits on. The swivel design of the feet ensures that no matter how the legs are adjusted, the feet sit flat on the surface. Now, if you like all that this filament off holder offers and you'd like to make one, then let's put it all together. The tools and supplies you'll need for this project are a 5 16 inch wrench, but only if you're attaching the optional legs. And if you don't have a wrench of that description, don't worry. There's an STL file that you can print off your own wrench. You may also need some glue. It's recommended, but it's not essential. We recommend a five minute two part epoxy and the printable science epoxy workstation to help you with mixing and application. You'll also need about 250 millimeters of PTFE four millimeter outside diameter tubing and a razor blade or sharp utility knife for cutting it. Now you'll be printing up to 17 pieces if you want to include all the options that are available. And you're going to need a printer with a minimum 125 millimeter by 125 millimeter by 150 millimeter build volume. The non-optional printed parts are the stand, the axle and the two axle buttons. The optional parts are the filament loops. You'll need two or four of those. And if you want the stand levelers, you'll need to print off the four legs and four feet. Finally, as mentioned previously, if you want to add the leveling legs and you don't have a wrench, you'll want to print off the STL for the 5 16 inch wrench that's included. Now, make sure you print the axle in the vertical orientation and use a brim. You will probably need to add a brim for the filament loops as well as they are fairly small pieces. All the parts in, for this project were printed in PLA with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle diameter, two perimeters, three bottom layers, five top layers, and a Z height of 0.2 millimeters and a 20% infill. Assembly is pretty straightforward. To assemble the optional legs, just press the feet into the socket. It'll take a bit of force, but they should pop in without breaking anything. Once assembled, the feet should rotate fairly easily around the bottom of the leg. Then you can thread the legs into the tapped holes in the bottom of the stand. The axle is pretty straightforward as well. Take one of the buttons and line up the engraved line on the button with the engraved line on the axle and then twist clockwise until it stops. Once you've done that, you can do the same for the other end of the axle. Now, if you want to ensure that the buttons don't fall off, put a little glue on the flange of the button before you insert and twist it. That'll hold it forever. Next, you just need to install the tubing and that's easy peasy. Just slide or snap a piece of filament into one of the grooves, align the end, and then using a razor blade or utility knife, trim off the end. Then just rinse and repeat for the second channel. All done. Now all you need is a roll of filament. You slide the axle into the center of the filament roll and slip the axle with the flat side of the axle pointing downward. That really is it. You're all done. Now, if you added the optional filament loops, then just take the filament anywhere along its length, turn it so it's parallel to the loops, slip it in between the pair of them, and then turn it so it rests inside the loop. So there you have it, a 3D printed filament spool holder that will stagger your friends, mortify your enemies, and bring you one step closer to total spiritual enlightenment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this new filament spool holder useful in your 3D printing pursuits. In the video description, you can find a link that will take you to where you can download the STL files for this project. Now, if you want to keep track of the many projects and activities we're up to, then you know what you have to do. And as always, we invite you to visit our website at printablescience.com, where all the science that fits, we print.